inside the Yakuza, Japan most dangerous gang. <clears throat> it's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. When you think of Tokyo, the hood doesn't really come to mind. There are some dangerous places here, but it's relatively safe due to tourism. But three hours southwest on express bullet train and away from most tourism will lead you to one of Japan's biggest cities, Osaka, which to locals is known as the hood of Japan. Today, we're gonna link up with Tiga Sky Sea, a local rapper who's gonna show me around Osaka and then later connect me with one of the world's most dangerous gangs, the Yakuza. Make sure to take two seconds and thumbs up the video right now, y'all, because we have a lot to get into. All right, y'all, so we just got to Osaka right now. We're about to go link up with Tig. Off rip, Osaka looks just like Las Vegas to me. The roads, the buildings, the everything. It reminds me of home away from home in a way. We got a lot to do today, and we also have some very interesting people to link with as well. Can't say too much, but y'all see the title. Let's go over here and let's go knock it. The day you get your clear choice dental implants makes every day. Check it out. It's young I ain't finished white girl. She played tennis. Um, yeah. Brand new Rafi, brand new Ricky. Tell him send it. Um, yeah. Brand winner. Yeah. Lambo. Yeah, I bend it. Yeah. This is not a rented. Hey. Pull up window tennis. My name is How you doing, man? Good. Say what up. Say what up. Takoyaki. Takoyaki. Man, this is lit. It feels like he's me, man. Takoyaki. Takuyaki, Takuyaki. What up? How you doing, man? Puri. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice Riri. to meet you. Where are we at? Where are we at? Osaka, Minami. Minami. Number. Minami, number. <laughs> you feel me? Minami. Minami. Hey, hey, come there. <laughs> yeah, for me. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. This is a lit. Yeah, this is better. This is better. We lit, man. As I was saying, like, I like linking with people who's just like me. We in your area, man. I want you to show me around and explain everything. All right, so we're going to number. But the slang version is called Me Not Me. I'm about Me Not Me. All right. Y'all know we in slang, so Me Not Me it is, me not man. Me. This dude is just like me, man. Oh my God. I found my twin out here in Japan, bro. Osaka Takoyaki Soul Food. I got Vidi Ken. Vidi Ken. Vidi Ken. He said this is local food called what? Takoyaki. What is it made out of? Takoaki. Octopus. octopus. Osaka, Osaka. Osaka. See, in the U.S., a taco look like a yeah octopus. Salapan. This don't look like a taco. This is like a uh, a bowling ball or something. Taco, taco, taco. Takoyaki. 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 <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Okay, it might be too hot to eat. Cheers. Cheers. Bit of piece of hell, bro. That shit was fresh off the van. I don't even know how it tastes. It was so hot. Bro, oh, boy, I just scratched my tongue. Takoyaki, man. Go ahead. Please. My entire tongue, bro. He tried to set me up, bro. Did you grow up here? This is a place he always like do business and he do like show and stuff. What is the difference between here and Tokyo? Uh Tokyo no shit, I'm just Vibes. Yeah, the vibes. The vibes. The vibes is better. Most people here don't have any tattoos, and you even have them on your face. Do people treat you differently for having tattoos out here? They actually treat them not good. Okay. Like, normal work, you can't. Like, artist, you're doing. He can't have a nine to five. He gets stared a lot. Mm -hmm. So he feels comfortable sometimes. You see, everyone who's wearing a mask is not here. Hey, two people. Yeah, there's the only two people with tattoos. At what age did you get your first face tattoo? Uh, when he was 19. So he got the heart right here when he was 19. That's his first tattoo. Sex. Sex. <laughs> yeah, he got sex right here. That's bold. To get a face tattoo, you got to be fully committed. At what point was you like, all right, I'm not trying to get no job or no nine to five job or anything? So ever since you were younger, you, you've been like this and you knew you didn't want a job or nothing. What is this area right here called? Yeah, I first got my face face tattooed at, at 19 as well. And I I think differently. I'd rather be dead as fuck before I work at a job forever. 
I know people that work at a job and they still ain't get their time for leisure. Their kids grew up bad as hell, still resentful and all that. I will not be plugged in at a job. Once more, job is defined as public business for private dishonest gain. While you honestly working your job, somebody privately eating private parts gaining dishonestly off your hard work and labor behind the scenes. Kill me right now if that's what's my destiny. I ain't doing that. Hell nah. But let's continue. She, he, he, Kakai bus you. Might not number study to car. Ato, catchy, free, catching out to car. Nisa no yobi comi study. My Sadova, Anoko, Kawai to Motor Koyaka can eat there. Oh, okay. So this right here is like the place you could pick up a girl or you trying to sell something to maybe a tourist or a local. I was saying to the camera, it reminds me so much of like Las Vegas here. Griko sign. What does that mean over there? Griko. Salapen? Griko. So this is a real popular place. He's saying a lot of people will come here and they will take a picture in front of it. Kind of like if you're in Hollywood, you go to the Hollywood stars. New York, you go to Times Square. And look at this view right here. This right here is beautiful. Growing up, did you get into like lots of fights and stuff like that? Yes, yes, yes. What's the craziest thing that you've seen here? Oh. So seeing somebody get stabbed and his guts coming out. So we see the places here that if somebody's new here. This shit look dope. Someday I want to move out to um, Tokyo, Japan or South Korea or just have some property out there. So if I wanted to move out there for months on it, because this shit in the United States, I'm not impressed. I've seen it all. Etc. It's. It's nothing holding me here still. My family, I can always FaceTime. Yes, yeah, that's, that's it. But the United States, that shit get. Not to say it won't get like that out here or whatever, but I'm I'm tired of it. The degeneracy, I'm tired of it. I want to see what everything else, how that feel. But let's continue. It might look safe, even though I know it's dangerous. Are there a lot of gangs in this area? Yeah, because from what I've read, they're one of the most dangerous gangs in the whole country, right? <laughs> what other gangs are out here? Is it just them? I don't know how to say it, like... They're the best of gang members. Or like the, probably like the most popular, mm -hmm. they're like the most popular right. gang out here. In like America, there's like Bloods, Crips. You go to a different state, there's like GDs, BDs. There's all these different gangs depending on what state. In Japan, is it just only a few gangs out here? Got you, okay. Halloween, so, Halloween. Halloween. Cosplay. Halloween custom. Why didn't you ever choose to, to join that gang or anything? Mm, pretty much you're saying like not something that oh I'm gonna just join for a few years and then oh I think this is too hard let me get out once you join you're committed it's a brotherhood forever how long have you been making music we've been doing this over six years what have first got you into doing it? Okay. Uh, I want to um, put some attention on that and emphasis as well. I know you may not agree with it, um, being in a gang or whatever, but everything's is gangs. The police, they protect their own. They a gang. They stole a land from the indigenous Aboriginal people and they put police enforcement there to enforce their laws and protect everything they stole. How are you gonna steal something from a group of people and then that you put law enforcement for everything and then you gotta go out and get it honest and right when you stole everything. So the government, the, tw the 13 families, the cabal, Illuminati, your Yakuza, Crips, Bloods, they all, but still the one thing I do agree with, for you to win, everybody always, always clashed with war. It was always a bunch of men on the same accord, whoever went, whether they invaded or got invaded. It was always a brotherhood of men. So I say that to say, I'm not telling you to join a gang, but you, ne you need to have like-minded brothers around you. Hopefully they share this foundation of codes, ethics, morals, principles, integrity, honor, and righteousness. Otherwise, your group is as strong as your weakest link. That's why they got strict rules, like where they kill you in some torturous way. Cause you death before dishonor. So if it's one person in that group that can be bribed, threatened, or he envious or jealous of one of y'all, he can sink the whole ship like the Titanic. 
So, but it's important to have a brotherhood. Or if you're a female, it's important to have a sisterhood. If you with your female and shit popping, you a hate that she's going to become a burden at that point. Running too slow and all that. When you're with your guys, you feel a little bit better about things. And you got a better chance. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to highlight that it's important to have a brotherhood. It's, I will almost say it's, What's another word? Not necessary, but you should have it. Just like as a man, you should be stoic. Otherwise, you you susceptible to everything and then becoming a risk yourself. But yeah, I just wanted to put emphasis on that. That's important. Have I found mass yet? No, I ain't gonna lie. But I know it's important. You can't do anything without it. If the government wanted to come and get you just because you're exposing things of what's really going on, they can easily get you because they got a brotherhood, whether they pedophiles or whatever, but they a brotherhood and they all finna come and get you. And you ain't got nobody to be easier for them to get you. Well, let's continue. Yeah, I want to do something to do to it. I've done a bad thing, but I'm a star seed. I'm a artist. You feel like making music made you born again in a way? Right. What's the music scene like out here? Is it different from Tokyo? One of the best movies of the century is streaming now exclusively on Peacock. Oppenheimer has been nominated for 30. Well, there are not really much difference. Less real ones in Tokyo than more real ones in Osaka. Do a lot of people here rap? If you could work with any artist in the U.S., what artist would you work with? Chief Keef. Chief Keef. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. TV watched my videos, so I know he he gonna see this. Oh man. Okay. How does someone <laughs> from this area find Chief Keep music? The drill is the first thing. I don't like it again. No, 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 no. Do you understand anything that the songs say, or you just like the way it sounds? Yeah, Nihon Goyak, me do it. Is there a producer that you want to work with? Weezy. Weezy. Yeah. Weezy out of here. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. lit, lit. I'm not a T.I.G. guy. I'm a friend of mine. But my friend, Yusagu, is a friend of mine. The name is an artist name. Friend of mine. Let me see. Yusagu. See this right here? Never do this in Japan. When you did this, this is the thing when you do a funeral in front of a body. Just for them who passed away. This oh, we don't do this? Yeah, yeah no, oh, don't yeah. do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Point it to me. Yeah. So only if they're older, if they're younger, I could do this. Yeah. 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 Don't do this. Yeah. No. Never. Never. So how do I supposed to do it? This or so, so I'm left-handed. So facing right? Yeah, we can write. We also can't use this either. This one is also something we do at funeral too. Not funeral, but like we burn a body and then it come out as a bone, right? And then we pick bone. This we can't do. No. Oh yeah, don't. You have to like pick them. No. What if it's chilling like this? Oh, well that's not a problem. Just standing like straight, this is not cool. After eating, it was time to meet the Yakuza. It's when not people cool. think of the Yakuza, they think of older, retired people. But today, nearly 40% of their members are in their 20s and 30s. They rarely do interviews. And because they're amongst the world's richest gangs, even money won't make them speak out publicly. When I tell y'all this felt like straight out of a movie, dim lit back room, hidden in plain sight, with the Yakuza suited up waiting on my arrival, that's exactly what this was. But it was time to finally meet them. Shit look lit. Before we continue with this video, y'all, this video is sponsored by Price Picks. If you guys love to make daily sports picks like me, make sure y'all download the Price Picks app. Right now, I have you guys with a 100% deposit bonus code up to $100. All you gotta do is use my promo code PUDI and they're matching your deposit right now. Why well, I like Price Picks? Because it doesn't matter if the team I like loses, I still win money each time on the individual player. Don't miss out on this opportunity, y'all. I'm literally making money every single week using Price Picks. Use my promo code right here, download the Price Picks. Picks app. Big, big thanks to Price Picks for sponsoring this video. And y'all, it's time to get back into the video because this video is about to get way crazier. Did y'all pull the pick? All right, y'all. This is the most serious part of the video. Uh, definitely something that no YouTuber has done. Today, we're in a private secret location and we're about to do a full interview with the Yakuza. That's enough talking. 
time to go and leave them for ourselves. Nah, I throw out the bros, I bet you I throw back. Get up close, that messy shit get whack. Like, bro with the B-Mons. He can't run cause that B-Mons back. Cat was like Kobe, I guess I was shot. This shit so loud. Got the Yakuza here. Everybody has masks. Their identities don't want to be shown. We're in a small space right now, so we're all crammed up. I guess first question, why is it so important to hide who you are? <laughs> Got you. What is the the joining process like? How exactly do they have to go about joining? You only need books to be a Yakuza for life. Okay. When y'all are looking for people to join, do y'all go and search for people to join or do people come to y'all and ask? When y'all are trying to find people that y'all want to uh, bring in, what exactly are characteristics that y'all are like trying to look for? Back is. When you find somebody, how do you know that, okay, I can trust this person to be part of the gang? Mm. And say if someone wants to join and you have them go do something for you and they come back and don't get the job done, how is that process like? Do you just kick them out or do they get in trouble for not doing everything that you asked for? So um, I see everybody has on suits. Why the suits? Do everybody have to dress in suits if they join? Or is that how y'all carry yourself every day? No, 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 no. This is Japanese culture. Okay. This is the way they dress up. I see everybody has nice jewelry and everything. When someone joins, do they get money given to them? They get their bike working. Are y'all faces known by lots of cops? Yes. Let's say a cop just sees you out living your regular life. How do they treat y'all when they see y'all? They're trying to look for something they committed so they can bring them to jail. Got you, got you. Now, if let's say the cops find y'all and try to take y'all to jail, do y'all get extra time because y'all are in a gang? Yes. Sir. I've seen online a lot of people have tattoos, their whole full body's covered. Is that something that everybody has to do once they join? Or is it a certain tattoo? No. You have to get tattooed by its Japanese culture. Like, if you're in a gang, you're, like, automatically good. By y'all being in a gang, are y'all able to just look at somebody else that lives here and tell they're in a gang, whether it's a certain way that they dress, carry themselves, whether it's a certain tattoo, and be able to tell that, okay, this person is in a gang of, of some sort. How does somebody move up in rank? How does someone move up from somebody who just joined the gang to all the way up to like a leader or a boss? How much you down the work, how much you can go up and higher. How fast can someone do it? Um, do you have any like rival gangs? How do you think the gang culture here is different from the gang culture in the United States? Okay, so it's is drug culture not a thing here compared to like in in the U.S. Do most people not do drugs? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, was any of y'all young when y'all had y'all first tattoo? Um, are we able to see any tattoo of y'all's? What does that tattoo mean? Bonjour. <laughs> it's called a I don't want to explain actually, but it's Japanese culture. Do any of y'all have your whole body tattooed? When y'all have kids, would y'all want them to join the gang as well? Or would y'all want to keep y'all kids away from that? <laughs> It's not his choice, like he's gonna let them more per, you know, choose her life. Uh, um, would that be, would he tell um, his kid that he's in a gang or would that be something that he'll try to hide from them for as long as he can? Yeah, yeah. So I I see your hand and I see that you're missing a uh, finger over there. Uh, you mind explaining what happened and how you lost it? Was it something that you chose to do or was it a request from somebody else that you should get your finger cut off? Okay. When you joined, why did you choose to join? Okay. Um, did, did any of y'all join for safety reasons? In the U.S., joining a gang, a lot of people have to because of where they're at. It's either they join a gang and the neighborhood help them be safe, or they have to go out on their own with no backup. Did any of y'all join to have a backup and feel safe? Okay. 
us. Not many people get to speak with the Yakuza. Because their identities are hidden, it's common to be walking the streets and not knowing you're passing by a member of Japan's most dangerous gang. A few of them traveled four hours just for this video. It's moments like these where you sit back and think, how the hell this all started? All year I'm traveling the world and meeting people learning about different ways of life outside of the norm. I just posted new pictures with the Yakuza on Instagram. If you go comment here from YouTube, I'll go spam your pics. And comment on this video and let me know where y'all want to see me go next. From Osaka. Signing out. Plug came in and he had one pint left. We did a show downstairs. Who needed most? We break it down to false, but that's one drink for most. I'm extra good. It's weight up on my back. It'll probably drown you most. Actually, I like that idea a lot. I'm very yeah. much into Bollywood. Salapan? Salapan? You don't want it? For sure. <laughs> Not whitey. Never that. Jesus, nigga. You want to sit on the cop? Boy, I don't fucking know. And my name is Coco. <laughs> Baby, you look stupid. You ever seen a Bengali with a BBL? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, Pootie? What the fuck wrong with this man? She said, yo, you she said, baby, you look stupid. What? I ain't gonna lie. You you hold on, I thought I was subscribed. Probably on my other channel. But you, you dope at this shit. What you do? Shout out to you. You different for sure. I already showed you left handed eating. That's crazy. You different for sure. Um That's it for the video. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. For real, though, I'm serious about that, though. It's important. If you a female, you need a sisterhood. It's important. If you a guy, you need a brotherhood. Now, that's all the police doing. They a brotherhood. They protect their own. They gangs too. When they say you're a gang member and they put you in prison, they think they the good guys. That's crazy. So I'll see y'all in the next one, man. I'm out.